Hey there, welcome back to Clip Studio Paint Quick Tips. My name is Scott Drummond. I'm a comic artist and illustrator. Today, we're gonna to be learning how to customize your command bar in Clip Studio Paint. But hey, this is Quick Tips, so let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Whether you're illustrating on a mobile tablet or a large monitor, you can always use more room to work. Clip Studio Paint's palette windows are handy, but sometimes you're just gonna get the clutter out of the way. But how can you do that and still have quick access to all your favorite tools? Well, it's really easy to make some quick shortcuts in your command bar. The command bar is this area here at the top of Clip Studio Paint, and it's fully customizable. Just go to the Clip Studio Paint menu icon and click Command Bar Settings. From here, you'll be able to add or remove menu shortcuts, tools like brushes, and even custom auto actions. Let's say you want a reminder to turn on Clip Studio Paint's new time lapse feature. We can click the drop down and go Main Menu, File, Time Lapse, Record Time Lapse, and then press Add. With the Command Bar Settings window still open, we can grab the icon and move it to the beginning of our command bar, so it's the first icon we see when we start a new document. With it still selected, I can press Add Separator to give it a little space between it and the next icon. And if I ever want to remove it, I can just highlight it and press Delete. You can even save different command bars by going to Window, Workspace, Register Workspace, and then typing in a name. I like to have different command bars for penciling, inking, and coloring, so I can put my favorite tools at the forefront and get everything else out of the way. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Make sure to leave a comment below to let us know what you're gonna put in your command bar. I'm looking forward to seeing those time-saving tips. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and make some great content.